In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a new contact form creator for WordPress called Happy Forms. It's brand new. They're working out the kinks and you're taking user feedback to improve the plugin so it's going to get better and better in the future. And this is a sponsored video. So Happy Forms reached out to me and asked me to do this video for them. And the form builder is actually pretty cool. It's drag and drop. It has these separate modules you can add and customize. The CSS styling is great out of the box. It's super easy to use. So if you're looking for a new form builder or you just want to test out new stuff, check out this form builder and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. We help you get better at WordPress. You can earn more for yourself, for your clients and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress and all kinds of WordPress related tricks, click on the subscribe button, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything and check out our private Facebook group where we hang out, chat, talk WordPress, learn from each other, help each other and just get better at WordPress. With that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture. I'll see you there. To add happy forms, go to plugins and then add new and then search for happy forms, all one word. And it's this first option that we see here, happy forms. Not a lot of installs yet, not great reviews yet, but I've tested this plugin and it's pretty cool. And the reason it's cool, I'm gonna show you, but one of the great features is you can see a live preview of the form as you're building it. And when you're installing any plugin, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you back up your files and your database, just in case, because you don't know something's gonna go wrong. And it's always good to have a backup. I've linked to a tutorial in the card up above for Updraft Plus, which is a great backup plugin. So if you gotta do a backup first, check out that tutorial if you need help. If not, just click on Install Now and then Activate. Here you can choose to enter your email address to get notifications and probably also be part of the mailing list, possibly, uh, but at least share data of how you're using the form or the form builder. If you don't wanna put your email in there, you just click on Skip down here and Continue. And we have a simple sample contact form pre-built. We have a new menu option on the left called Happy Forms with all forms where we are now, add new, where we're gonna to go to in a second, and messages. When someone sends an email, you get, or when someone fills out a form, you get an email as well as a message in the messages tab, which we'll see later on. But I'm just gonna click on edit to edit the existing one that they created. And this form editor is built a lot like Customizer. And like I said, the great thing is you have a preview over here on the right hand side. And the fields that we have are listed on the far left. And in the middle, we have things we can add. So any one of these, short text, long text, email, website link, multiple choice, single choice, drop down, number, phone, date, address, scale, for a sliding scale for options or opinions, title, legal, rating, and placeholder are all built into the plugin. And you just drag and drop any of these, like the scale, for example, Drag and drop over here, and now we have our scale with various options. You can close the scale options by clicking the arrow, or you can manage the options and change them in here. And that should have been added. You have to add it already right here. And we can see there's a very lightly, you can see a number down below as I scale. And it goes up just from zero to 100. And you can change the accepted values from here. So maybe it's a scale of one to 10 and step of one, meaning every time the scale moves a little bit, it goes up by one. And you can call this something like, how much do you like the Beatles on a scale of one to 10? And then people can choose what their answer is and then submit the form whenever they're done. There's a bunch of other options, labels, things like that. The most important one is probably CSS. So you can add a CSS class and match the design of the form to the design of your website. And if you don't like where any of these options are listed or whether ordered, you can just drag and drop them and they're moved. And every one of the form builder parts has a little down arrow with options. Some of the options are specific to the part type. Some of these options are universal to all of them, like the title. I'm pretty sure every single one has a title. And then everyone has a CSS class. But some of them, like the scale, has very unique options, like maximum value, minimum value, default value. I'm, I'm sure the address field has some fairly unique options. You actually click on it, not drag and drop. My bad. Let's put the address up here. And we have the address appearing at the bottom here. Let's see if we can update that, move right to the top. There we go. 
So we have the address field, and it's got a bunch of unique options. We can change the width, so you can have columns. You can very easily create columns. So if we wanted the first name and last name side by side, let's just move these around again. Change the first name. It already is half width. When it's full width, goes all the way across, clearly. Half width goes halfway across. And then even the, the last name is set to half. You set that back to full. It's going to be on its own line down below. You set it to one third. It's going to be even smaller, but still beside the first name. So you can have multiple columns, one, two, or three columns built right into the plugin. I'm sure with CSS you can have more columns, but having more than three columns in a contact form doesn't make a lot of sense. There's just not enough space to fill out information if you do that. So if you think this form is interesting, check out these various parts if you think that they cover your needs. Once you have your form created, I'm just going to remove the address one because I'm going to do a little test of this form later. Okay, let's go to next and set up the final settings. So you have to add your email address, which is you, the creator. So I'm going to say Bjorn at WP Learning Lab. And this is a confirmation message which the person who fills out the form will see. And this one is going to be the email. So we received your message. I'm going to add thanks. And this is going to be the content of their email here, whatever you add in there. And then you can have a redirect link. So if you want to redirect them to a different page after they fill out the form, this is where you'd put the URL for that, like a thank you page, for example. And the submit button text, I'm going to say send the data. I'm going to call that button. Spam protection. This is a honeypot. If you saw my recent tutorial about adding honeypots to contact form 7, that is what this checkbox does for this plugin. It's a honeypot. You can add Google reCAPTCHA as well. You need the reCAPTCHA site key and secret key. I've linked a tutorial up above to show you how to find the Google reCAPTCHA information. But I would recommend you try Honeypot first because that's non-invasive for people. People don't even people who are filling out the form don't even notice the Honeypot, but it still prevents spam. If you find a lot of spam is still getting through, then activate Google reCAPTCHA in addition to the Honeypot form or instead of and see if that reduces spam. And also you have the option of adding the Kismet plugin to also reduce spam. And save messages from this form. This is the option to allow messages to be saved to the WordPress database that you can view right in the website. I'm going to keep that checked as yes, and then click on next. Now we have some more options. General. Here we have general styling for our form. So the primary color is black, as we can see here. If we change this to red. That's the headline up there. The primary color is the headline. Then we have success messages in green, error messages in orange. That's all fine by me. Form title. That is this one here that's now red. You can change its position, change its size. You can hide it or show it, whatever you want. The parts, uh, each one of the, the last name, first name, and every option you add is a part. And this is customizing the parts, borders, and spacing on this tab. And then parts, labels, and text, which is first name, last name. What's your reason for contacting us? Those are the labels and text. And the submit button, the very end, submit form. This is where you change the options and colors and styling for this form button. And when you have all of those set how you want them to be, click on save form. And now your form is ready for prime time. Now there's two ways, actually three ways you can add this form to your site. One is a short code. You can just click on copy to clipboard. That's going to add the short code to your clipboard. You can paste that anywhere where short codes are allowed. You can go to, first I'm going to go to the website actually, and show you our current sidebar, which is over here on the right. And now with this form builder, you can go to appearance and widgets. And there's a Happy Forms widget that you can find in the widget list over here that's alphabetical. So you'll find it somewhere in the alphabet there. You can put it right at the very top or wherever you want in that list. You can choose the form. There's only one form on this site, so that's the one that's on there right now. If I refresh this page, our form should be appearing right here. And it should also be adjusting itself to fit the space which it has. It's made the fields a lot narrower than they were in the preview. 
because this is just a narrower area on the right hand side. And the form works just as any other form. And they can click on send the data and send the information to you. So that's one way you can add them to the site. And if you go to, let's add a new page. I'm going to call the page happy form. And we can either paste our short code that we copied earlier right into here. Or if we didn't copy the short code, you can click on the happy forms button right here. Choose your form and it will insert the short code for you. So you don't have to copy the short code if you don't want to. And we should also be in the text editor for short codes, even though that worked this time, it doesn't always work. So make sure you're in the text editor when you're, when you're pasting in the short codes. Then we're gonna click on publish and we're gonna see what this form looks like when it's full page instead of just in the sidebar. So let's click on the URL to see the page on the front end. And here is our happy form. And when we built it, we had the option to not show the sample contact form in the third page of the settings. So if you find that the form title is getting in the way or it's intrusive, you can actually hide that. But here's the form. I'm gonna start filling it in. I'm gonna pause it while I do, and then we're gonna submit the form. All right, so I fill out the form. I've added my age is eight years old because my wife sometimes says I act like an eight year old. So that's eight. <laughs> And my happy message is the message. And I like the Beatles, six out of 10. I'm gonna click on send the data. I should see a confirmation message on the screen and then also receive the email in my inbox and receive a message in the messages tab of the plugin. So we got the message twice actually on this page. So that's nice. And I'm gonna check my email. So I'm just gonna load my inbox. So this is all the information we sent via the email and it's in our email account and it will also appear if we get there, in our messages, happy forms and the messages, if I can find where happy forms is, here it is. Then you just click on messages. So here's the one message we submitted. There is some information that's a little bit cramped on the beginning side here, but this is Yoast information. So we can turn that off and go into screen options and we can't turn it off. Usually you can go to screen options and turn off the Yoast in the, the page or the messages display or whatever the page list is displaying. So these columns are actually irrelevant. If you have Yoast installed, you will be seeing these, but the SEO and readability of the email is not important in this case. And if you wanna read the contents of the email, you have to hover over here and read on this, or click on this little scrunched edit. Or if you don't have Yoast installed, this will be displayed a lot more nicely for you. But if we click on that edit, we'll be taken to the message and we can read what was sent to us. So here's an itemized list of everything that was filled out. It shows which form was filled out on the right and the date. And currently the status of this message is unread. You can click on mark red and then the status will change to red. As we saw earlier, this message was blue in background color or very light blue. Now it's like gray. So that shows us that that message has been read. You can filter here by dates. You can't filter by red or unread. I thought you could, but you can't. Just have to look whether, whether it's light blue or gray, but you can filter by dates it was submitted. You can filter by forms that were submitted. And of course, SEO Yoast adds these scores, which are kind of irrelevant for emails. But you can still filter by SEO scores on email messages if you want to. There's also some bulk options. If we have more than one message, we can choose to mark all as read, mark as unread, or trash them. And the very last thing I wanna show you is how to export your form data. So if we choose a form from the drop, and you can't do it with all forms, but you choose a form, click on filter, it will show all the results or all the submissions from just that one form. And then we check this box up here that will check all the emails. In this case, there's only one, but it'll check all of them if there are many. Under bulk actions, choose export to CSV, click on apply, and then all the form data is gonna be exported in CSV format, and you can data crunch it however you like to in a spreadsheet. That's a really cool feature you don't see in a lot of form plugins. And that's all I wanted to show with Happy Forms. It's a great little form builder, nice preview options, easy to set up, looks nice. I encourage you to check it out if you're looking for a new form builder. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe. Then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the private Facebook group. The link is in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.